Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. This project is now seven months old. To mark this, rather than adding more exhibits, in this video I have added the ability to run the simulation without a VR headset and controllers. In all my previous videos the in-simulation footage has been the view through the VR headset. Movement is either Steam standard teleportation for longer distances, or, as one walks around the real world, this movement is directly reflected in the simulation. This includes being able to walk up or down stairs. The height of your virtual head above the simulation's floor is set to match the height of your real head above the real floor. The simulation also provides a narrator. The laser pointer emitted from the controller in one's right hand is normally black. It changes color when pointing at something for which narration is available. Magenta indicates narration for a component of the building. Yellow for other items including exhibits. This statue is of the Duke of Rutland by Edward Davis. It was displayed at the Great Exhibition before being installed in the historic marketplace in Leicester in 1852, where it remains today. However, if you run the simulation without VR headset and controllers, it instead uses the monitor mouse and keyboard. The arrow keys allow movement forwards, backwards, left, right, all relative to the direction the camera is looking. By holding down the right mouse key, the mouse can then be used to aim the camera. Movement around the building is usually achieved by a combination of mouse and the forward arrow key. The speed is increased by simultaneously holding down the shift key. With no VR headset to measure the height of the player's head, the simulation assumes the player's eye height is 1.6 meters. This matches the height of the various contemporary illustrations located throughout the simulation. As you move up and down stairs, the player's eye is kept 1.6 meters above the virtual floor. The laser pointer associated with the VR controller is replaced by crosshairs in the center of the screen. These crosshairs can be toggled on, off via the middle mouse button. Just like the laser pointer, the crosshairs are normally black, changing color when pointing at something with narration, magenta for a part of the building, yellow for other items. This is one of the many columns supporting the structure of the building. The columns are hollow, and those which extend to the roof act as downpipes for the discharge of rainwater into the drains. So, my VR simulation of the Great Exhibition is now a VR or not VR simulation. Join me for my next video, where I will return to adding exhibits.